Alrighty. Welcome back to Eight Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. My name is Mark Zimmerman. This is ink that I'm rolling out on a sheet of plexiglass. Nice thin layer. I'm going to go get a sheet of paper, which for some reason I keep across my studio. <laughs> Don't seem to be smart enough to move it over here. I always need to run and get it. I'm going to tape that paper down. I'm going to draw and rub on the back of it and transfer ink to the front and create what I'm calling an ink transfer drawing. So, the ink under there is inside a little rectangle of tape. And I can feel that tape. I'm going to poke this pan up into that corner and drag it along the edge of that tape. Whoa! Come on, pen. I promise you it's still working even though it's not making a mark. Let's see if this one works. It's still putting pressure on the back of that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> still putting pressure on the back of that paper, so it's still leaving a mark. Still transferring paint, um, or ink, rather. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking at a photograph of a rooster. Let's see if I can... Got a funky little eye. And kind of bumpy skin. So I'm doing a bumpy line. Just drawing what I see. If I see bumpy, I draw bumpy. Hmm. If I see zigzag, I draw zigzag. Alright. Well, let's see. Where to go next? Let's... Let's just travel out in here and draw this weird little fold of skin here and here. back up into there and then there's I don't know what this is I don't need to know it's a dark spot um, on the photograph I'm looking at that I do know probably even has a name I know this is called the comb up in here And hmm. Would you like one of those on top of your head? Yikes. Just adding little shadows. The whole thing is kind of bumpy. So I'm drawing bumpy shadows. You'll notice my hand is in the air. I can't rest it on this paper or I transfer ink that way too. 
And I'm actually putting pretty light pressure on now. That'll transfer less ink than if I press hard. Uh, A rooster with his mouth closed. Boy, it doesn't happen every day, does it? Remember my grandpa's roosters, they were always squawking about something, curling about it, I guess, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I want to do this next. I'll show you why next, or why I want to do this next. Because that just comes right in front of there just a little bit. And I wanted to know where it was going to be before I drew the next part. This part. transfer ink simply by touching the back of this paper too. Anything that touches the back of the paper transfers ink. So I'm transferring it with a pen right now. I'm going to take my finger next. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep drawing a few feathers here. is. Uh, so I can transfer ink by just touching this too. Get my pinky finger out and sneak it in here. Maybe a bigger finger for the little bigger dark area here. Over there. Under there. Real dark there so Lots of pressure there. Um, dark down in here too. And dark back in here, but not, not something I want to draw with my finger. Okay. One little line there. Let's take a peek at him, see what we have. I can put it back down and draw some more. I can't erase. Oh, that's all right, except I just want to soften that line over here. It was too much of a line, I just want to tone. All right. Good enough. So I'm going to get the ink out of here. You will notice that here's the picture I was looking at. You'll notice that it's backwards. So when I paint it, 
I'm going to have to think backwards. Which my wife would tell you I'm pretty good at. <laughs> up a little yellow paint. I've got tube watercolor already in liquid form in a little cup so all I have to do is come back and find bright spots put a little light on those bright spots and you can always make it darker with watercolor. You can have a hard time coming back and making a dark color light. So I can put this put this down kind of liberally um, because I know I can always make something darker. It's lighter you can't do. in here too. And here and here and here. There we go. Stir up a little orange. So I'm moving one notch darker kind of. And you're saying that's red and I painted it yellow and now I'm gonna paint it orange. I must be lost, huh? We'll see. He does have an orange eye. How cool is that? Hmm. You hear that little puppy? She's kind of dreaming over there in the corner. Got a little German Shepherd puppy in the studio with me today. Cleo. She must be dreaming about something. She's kind of running in her sleep. Well, let's stir up a red. Obviously, I need red, right? Let's put a little water in that red, too. It's kind of dark. Water is my light because it makes the paint more transparent. Let's the white paper or the cream colored paper show through. So. So that yellow and orange actually affects this red. It changes the red just a touch. So it's worth doing. Even though I'm covering up most of it.
<laughs> she woke up a little bit, gave a grumble, and rolled over. It's a puppy's life, you know. And there's the big sigh, of course. Tell you what, she is a cutie and a sweetie. come back and put just a little bit of shadow in just a couple places Okay. Switch to a bigger brush, I think, huh? And he's kind of got a purpley cast to his feathers. See if I can get anywhere near that. You're thinking that's pretty dark, huh? Me too. Let's pick up a little water, spread it out a little bit. Give that another rinse almost, clean this time. Rinse it clean this time because these feathers are light, light, light. Now, he's a little dark, right? There's my Kleenex. There we go. And lighten a couple things. Even lets me put a little texture in too. There we go. Now I need a background. For some reason I think a solid color here is the way to go. And the background is really why I put the board underneath. You see this work. Now I'm going to let gravity work for me. And I'm just going to let gravity move that paint right down that board, right down that piece of paper. Tip it up a little bit. This is what's called a wash, a watercolor wash. And if I did the wash in the other direction, I would have a different effect too. You can see how it's kind of pools in places. It would pool differently if I ran it down instead of up. And I'm going to add a little water.
Tip it a little bit more. Kind of let it run into that corner. And then I'm going to tip it this way and let it run this direction. So it's just running right where I want it to run because of the board. Uh, sorry about turning it sideways on you. Or back sideways. A little more paint again, a little darker here. So I always sign them in pencil. I just need to figure out a title. That's Mr. To You. I will call him That's Mr. To You. Sign it. That says Zimmerman. Date it. 2020. And there's a little ink transfer drawing called That's Mr. To You. Hope you had fun watching. I had fun making it. So until next time. Bye bye.